What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, welcome to this week's episode of Class Comparisons. Today we're going to be taking a look at Legion Doom Knight versus Classic Legion Doom Knight. Now before we get into the video, I'd just like to talk about a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video in a couple of days time, so leave any questions that you want to ask me for the AKW Q&A coming up in a couple of days, and I'll answer those in the video. Um, also, we're going to be changing up the format of class, uh, class Comparisons, basically I'm going to be doing a lot more research and a lot more in-depth analysis of each class, well not in-depth analysis, just more uh, meaningful analysis of each class. And what I mean by that is, uh, I'll basically be looking at main purposes that you want to look for within a, a, a class of the particular subject. So for example, today we're going to be looking at soloing. So the, I'll be talking about the two main pillars of soloing, and these two pillars are um, speed and uh, sustainability, or or um, survivability rather. So. Survivability and speed will be the main things we look at and we'll be talking about each of those aspects individually and saying which class is better for the each individual aspect individually. So without any further ado, let's get into the comparison. Okay, so we'll talk about the two pillars of what makes a soloing class effective. Survivability and speed. Now, for survivability, both these classes are really, really good. They both have the exact same ability called Soul Siphon. However, Classic Legion Doom Knight has that ability with five more mana and one longer, one second longer cooldown. That translates to really no meaningful difference though. It's only one second longer and both these classes have no mana problems so there's not really an issue in terms of how much mana it costs and the one second longer, I mean, I guess that makes a difference but in practice it really didn't change any situation I was in in terms of trying to survive, you know? There wasn't really a situation I came across where I was thinking, shit, you know, Classic Legion Doom Knight can't do this whereas because of that one second shorter cooldown on New Legion Doom Knight, I could do it, you know? It, it, it's, that didn't happen. So as far as I'm concerned, both these classes are identical in terms, of survival, in terms of survivability. Now for speed, it's a different situation, however. Uh, lots of people have been saying that Classic Legion Doom Knight is better for short uh, health, for small health bosses, and uh, New Legion Doom Knight is better for, for large health bosses. And the reason why people have been saying that is because Classic Legion Doom Knight crits higher on its last two abilities and therefore does more damage overall. Um, that's true, but both these classes have an ability called Touch of Doom and Touch of Doom stacks up to four. What does Touch of Doom do, you might ask? Well, Touch of Doom causes your opponent to do less damage and take more damage while also increasing your damage. So essentially, the, the part that matters there is the part where it says you deal more damage. Each time that ability stacks, you deal more damage. Classic Legion Doom Knight, this stacks to 4. New Legion Doom Knight, this stacks to 15. Now, you wouldn't, I wouldn't think that these two classes would literally just have an objective difference like that that makes one of them way better. Um, so, in practice, on Classic Legion Doom Knight, which stacks to 4, the stacks seem to make more difference. So one stack seems to increase it by more than just one stack of New Legion Doom Knight's ability. So, you know, there might be like a 5% increase on Classic Legion Doom Knight, whereas New Legion Doom Knight has it on like 3% or something like that. However, in practice, Classic Legion Doom Knight does less damage than New Legion Doom Knight. This is evident by some testing I did. So, what I went and did was I soloed three different bosses three times with each class. I went to Red Dragon, who has 32,000 HP, Frost King, who has 115,000 HP, and finally Doom Overlord, who has a whopping 690,000 HP. Now, I recorded the amount of time in seconds that it took for each class to do both of these, uh, to do these solos in seconds. So, the Red Dragon was soloed by Classic Legion Doom Knight in 28 seconds, and New Legion Doom Knight in 27 seconds. So that means that even in really small health bosses, New Legion Doom Knight is even if not a little bit better with Classic Legion Doom Knight. Now Frost King, who has again 115,000 HP, Classic Legion Doom Knight did, an 80, and did it in 81 seconds, and New Legion Doom Knight did it in 67 seconds. That's a pretty significant difference. It's not massive, you know, it's only 14 seconds, but it still makes a difference, and it still means that New Legion Doom Knight is better in that situation. And uh, finally, on Doom Overlord, who again has 690,000 HP, Classic Legion Doom Knight did it in 5 minutes 40, uh, sorry, 540 seconds, and New Legion Doom Knight did it in 360 seconds. So that means that for Doom Overlord, it was 6 minutes versus 9 minutes, with New Legion Doom Knight taking the lead. So in every situation I threw at these both these classes, 
it's big health, small health, you know, it didn't matter. New Legion Doom Knight was better. New Legion Doom Knight dealt more damage because of the way that the first ability stacks. In just objectively looking at the way the last two abilities work on these classes, Classic Legion Doom Knight crits higher. That's that's completely evident. I'm right now I'm sitting in in lair and I'm I'm looking at the crit numbers and Classic Legion Doom Knight is hitting 2k, a uh, 2.4k crit on Legion Dark Blast and Legion Doom Knight is hitting uh, 2k. So it's you know the Legion Doom Knight does less damage in the very very short term, but in any any fight which ex which is extended, which includes any soloing fight you're doing, and I'm gonna by, by extended I mean like any fight that lasts an, an extended amount of time, which is what soloing is, then uh, New Legion Doom Knight just straight up does more damage. It just does more overall damage. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty easy easy conclusion to draw here. It's a matter of three minutes difference on a boss with a lot of HP, but on you know small health bosses, it's like a second difference or like. 15 seconds difference. Really not much to be uh, losing sleep over, but if you are taking this class to a really high health monster, then you're gonna save yourself like three minutes, which is an insane amount of time. So the differences start to really get noticeable on large health bosses. So I'd honestly just stick with new Legion Doom Knight and classic Legion Doom Knight is now rare. So nothing to worry about if you've got new Legion Doom Knight. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any suggestions about the way I recorded this video, anything you want to suggest for the format. I will be fine-tuning the way I explain everything and stuff in the future, but hopefully this new format with the pillars and doing the testing properly and everything, hopefully that is better for you guys. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.